Welcome to the Classical Academy's Parent Institute series, Homeschooling with Multiple Children. If you have multiple students, toddlers running around, or babies underfoot, you know how challenging homeschooling with multiple children can be. I hope to provide you with strategies and tips to help calm the chaos. We will explore how to plan and organize homeschool work, schedule your day, tips to make life easier, and how to keep learning engaging. Let's start with planning and organizing your homeschool work. Benjamin Franklin once famously said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Nothing will make homeschooling run more smoothly than taking the time to plan for the week, the unit, and even the year. First, here are some ideas for preparing and organizing your assignments. Set aside time each week to plan for the week ahead. Have a lesson planning system. This can be a lesson planning binder, digital plan book, or really whatever works for you as long as you can see the week's lessons in one place. During your planning time, create a daily checklist for each student. If you are using the Classical Academy curriculum, the checklist is built into the weekly lesson plans. You can even personalize this checklist by making a copy and adding assignments specific to your students. Many families use printable templates that they can download or make themselves and edit to personalize. Second, organizing your supplies and materials will make for a much smoother day with more independence for each child. Designate a space in your home so students know where to find their work books, and necessary school supplies. A box or bucket or a shelf in a cupboard is great. A pocket folder for each student can organize loose worksheets and assigned papers. One side can hold unfinished work and the other can hold finished work. You can also use a clipboard for daily assignments. Post-it notes come in handy to mark where you are in certain books or workbooks. An organized system will allow students to take ownership of their supplies and work. Be sure to hold them accountable for putting everything back in its proper place when they finish for the day. Finally, plan to grade and organize your students' work as it is completed. This ensures students can correct mistakes and allows you to recognize concepts needing reteaching. Once work is completed and graded, store it in a simple, organized fashion so it is ready for conferences. This can be a file folder box where each student has a section for each subject or a three-ring binder system with a section for each subject. Whatever works for you. It may seem impossible to add an hour of planning time to your weekly schedule, but this is likely the biggest single factor in success or failure when it comes to homeschooling, so don't skip it.